Hey there, welcome back and welcome back to another brand new episode. And if you're looking to create a stunning artwork for your favorite sports team or a player, then this is a right place. And in this tutorial, I'll teach you some pro tips that can help you to enhance your designing skills. So I'm very excited for this tutorial. So let's grab a computer and let's design together. So it's going to be very exciting and there will be a lot of stuff that I'm going to cover. So very first thing, let's create an artboard. So for that, press Ctrl and N and I'm going for 4x5, uh, resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 8. And let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And then right after that, let's create a solid color. Let's give it a kind of darker tone and let's rename it as a background and i know i'm getting a lot of comments about my audio and i'm trying to improve a lot uh, so bear with me guys i'll try to get a sweet spot very soon and i'm working really hard on it and then after that let's drag and drop our very first image so right over here press ctrl and t let's move it right around here and let's get another image so this one let's drag and drop this image right over here and let's keep it under this layer press ctrl and t let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it maybe somewhere around this side and then uh, let's do a simple color adjustment so select this layer go to filter and let's go to camera raw filter and what i like to do is uh, just drop down the saturation for orange a little bit yep somewhere around here go to the basic tab and let's drop down the highlights and let's increase the shadows a little bit and for the clarity and the texture let's increase it just like so and again go to the detail tab or color mixer tab and let's drop down the saturation for yellow too i think the yellows looks very nasty for this image so let's keep it like that and let's click on ok and let's do the same thing for this image go to filter and let's apply the same camera raw filter and let's click over here apply previous setting and let's see how it looks and then i think this is looking pretty ok for now and let's click on ok and then let's go on over this layer and let's add a uh, exposure just like that and then let's drop down the exposure right around here maybe somewhere around this level let's click on clip to layer so that this exposure gonna affect only this layer too and for this one let's rename it as a highlight right and then let's click on that layer max go to press and let's go for a general soft brush and and then let's change the opacity a little bit down maybe around 65 percent and with a black color selected let's create some highlights so here we go and just take your time and Let's see. Let's see. I will say, okay, that's good enough. And let's draw some highlights right around here, too.
let's drop down the opacity some more and maybe let's work right over here just like so and then let's add some right around here let's increase so here we go and then let's add some contrast so let's again go over here let's add a curve again and let's drop down the curve let's click on clip to layer and let's rename it as a shadows and let's fill this white with a black color let's go for a white color and let's reveal some of the shadows parts right around here just like so and we're here let's add shadows more on this side so this is what we got and then let's go for a color so i'd like to go for a hue and saturation let's click on colorize and let's go for kind of red color let's increase the lightness or let's see now let's go for kind of this color and let's click on clip to layer let's change the color overlay to soft light and let's click let's fill that layer max with black color and let's add some color highlights let's go for white color and let's reveal those colors back and let's do the same thing for this image so i'll just fast forward this and then so this is what we got and then let's add a separation in between these two images so go under this layer this layer and let's create a new layer and go to brush and then let's go for a environmental brush so i'm going for so i'm going for this brush and then let's go for a kind of darker color and let's add some environment right around here and let's increase the opacity a little bit yep just like so and let's go on very bottom create a new layer let's increase the color more toward red and then let's add some environment right around here let's go for another brush let's see let's go for yeah let's go for this brush and let's create a new layer let's add some environment right around here and let's go on very top let's create another layer and let's add some environment right around here and let's see let's go for yep let's go for this brush let's create one more layer and let's go on very top let's create a one more layer and let's add some environment right around here and let's see let's see if we could find some better brush i think i'll just go with this one yep just like so and maybe let's edit some of these parts yep just like so And let's drag and drop this another image right over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom and control t let's see let's keep the lights right around here yep just like so and maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit just like so and let's go on very top let's create a new layer again go to brush and let's go for a general soft brush and let's add some highlights right around here just 
just like so and let's add a text and let's merge everything Control shift alt and e i'm gonna use a plugin and it's a paid plugin but it's worth it so go to filter and let's go to nick collection and i like to go for analog fx pro let's go over here click on this one or any kind of flim look let's drop down the strength to around 25 yep yeah, yeah. let's keep it around this third this amount and let's go on detail extractor let's add some detail extraction let's increase the brightness a little bit and let's increase the contrast to maybe somewhere around here and let's click on ok see this is this was before and this is after and let's add a color lookup too so let's go over here click on color lookup and from here let's go for this lookup and let's drop down the opacity to maybe around like this percentage and let's make a copy Control j and let's go for dodge and burn so i like to add some dodge right around here so here we go and let's make a one more copy Control j go to filter and let's go to blur and let's add a motion blur so see it it just adds more dynamics in your design so i'll just go with kind of this amount or maybe a little less than that yep just like that and let's click on ok and let's create a layer max let's fill the layer max with black color and let's go for a white color and let's reveal uh, some of those motion blur effects back and yes this is the final look and i use the plugin for this tutorial but on my coming up tutorial i'll explain how to get exact same result without using any plugins so that's the wrap up and i'll see you in the next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative bye bye